Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures, and today I went to a community yard sale. Um, this is a community that normally has its yard sale in the fall, so I wasn't really expecting it right now in the spring. Um, it was, I don't know, I think a little too cold. It had rained, so there weren't a lot of people set up, and there was no other communities that had anything scheduled. So I was lucky that this was happening, and it wasn't conflicting with anything else. So this worked out to be one dollar. I got Diary of a Pug, Pause for a Cause. I think that she had one son that looked like he was probably two or three years older than my son. So I think that this um, will be something that interests him. When I shared this um, with my son when I got home, he thought it was cute and kind of laughed at it. So I think he likes those. And then the Antlered Ship um, the Fan Brothers, and this is just a nice illustration and a nice paper. And this originally said it was $18. So that looks really nice. Something like this would be really nice for a church. It's a Crew Cuts 6-7. I paid $2 for it. And it's not too thick, so this is perfect for church in the spring and in the fall. My son says he likes it. I got these um, pair of shoes and they were $5. They're just nice little slip-ons um, under armor, but they're in excellent condition. I believe they're a size four. So honestly, my daughter might slip her feet into them this year. And then if they last, I will hang on to them for my son. There was a pair of Vans that were only $5 and these look like they have never been worn. The lady said they were like, a size too small for her or she would have kept them. And I said, hmm, maybe they would fit me. But I thought that was a really good price. And uh, I don't know, I think my daughter could wear those if she wanted to, or I'll hang on to them for my son. But I feel like thrifting shoes, you can definitely save a lot of money. It's nice to have a few pairs that are bigger sizes on hand. So those things were basically for my son, but if my daughter wants the shoes, she can have them. And then for her, I picked up this little dish that is butterfly wings. And I used to have a dish like this and I was trying to polish it and water got underneath and ruined it. I was so upset. So mine was a little bit bigger, um, but I was so happy to find this. It was only a dollar. Sometimes these will be marked um, silver or Mexico. I don't see any markings on there, but I knew that she would love that. Dollar for this uh, Peter Rabbit boxed set. Like talk about if you were gonna put together a little um, Easter basket and you didn't wanna put candy in there, these things would be so cute and inexpensive. And like candy. Um, so they're not in order, but they're all there and I can't keep secrets or hold on to things. So I showed my daughter and she said that they were cute. She'll probably read them, even though maybe they might be a little young for her. But I think the novelty is the fact that they are so small. So let's pull out a random one. Number four, The Tale of Benjamin Bunny. And they're in such great shape. I picked up this book for a dollar. It's Webster's Shorter School Dictionary, and it just had some wonderful pages. Wow, this is copyright 1914. It's got some nice yellowed pages. I love the, the typewriter font. At the last yard sale that I stopped at, I, um, I think I hit the jackpot. I paid $15 for everything that is in this bag. This box was filled with Prisma colors. I mean, just overflowing. And a lot of them are really good sizes. And I mean, this white looks like it's just brand new, or I guess it's French gray, 10%. And yes, there's some that are teeny tiny. But these pencils, I remember when I was purchasing them for myself, maybe they're a dollar a piece. Now they're probably a dollar fifty or $2. So I picked up that. There was a good utility knife, um, a new box of pencils, and then these watercolor pencils. That's a brand new set. And this price says, well, I don't know what, um, I don't know if that's that marking. I have no clue. It's not a pound. Oh, maybe it's a euro. 15.50. 
and I paid 15 for everything. Well, I got even more, but nothing was priced. And I pulled these things out and the man was like, oh, you know, and he was like looking at stuff. And I was thinking, well, he knows how expensive this stuff is, but if he doesn't want it or maybe he hasn't used it in a while. So he looked and looked and looked and he was like, eh, $5. And I was like, okay. So that gave me a better sense of what he wanted. So the extra stuff that I picked up, um, I got this bag of rubber bands. I literally ran out. These these are bad, but the rest are good. Um, of these on Friday because I was giving the students all their artwork that they've made so far to take home and gave out my last rubber band. These uh, were the cross pen and pencil set that have those neat little arrows. And there was another gold one. It must be in the mix somewhere in here. Some push pins, you can always use those. Two um, Stadler erasers. This is an eraser stick, um, some type of cutting blade, a big Sharpie. Then all these black and colored markers. Pigment liners in different colors and different thicknesses. Oops, sorry. They all work. So I, I tested all of them. Um, I don't an exacto. I don't know if I showed that before. Here's a brand new Winsor Newton um, little paintbrush. Then I've got oh goodness, these two exacto holders. And then when one's like when it's dull, I guess they go in there. So it says use blades. And then I think you put the fresh ones in here. That's great extra exacto blades um, I think these are replacements for this knife over here and then these are 3b 5b 6b it's like a whole set of shading pencils and there's a lot left I mean this is you know an artist's dream to come across all of this some more pencils that weren't in the box, and then these were the Microns. And I tested them all before I, I left. Yes, very happy to find all of that. The last thing I have to share is a stack of books that I got for free. So this uh, was from my mom. She actually got it from a neighbor, and she, uh, she paid like a quarter or 50 cents for it. She thought that I would like it. And I do. And then uh, we went to church after yard sailing to uh, make some spanakopita for Easter. And uh, they always have like this little table that has like books and records and CDs when people donate stuff and, you know, they're not going to sell it. And on it um, were a bunch of books. So I grabbed this little one. Um, I didn't realize it had a hot pink, um, I guess they're not spined, the end of the papers. I'm sure somebody knows what the word is for that. But that's awesome. And I've been on the lookout for the small books. And then there was this one that's kind of reddish. And I just, I like how small all of them are. So I do have this, I think this is called the spine. I have the spine of this one. And in it was this tape. And I know that it was cut out for whatever this article was. I don't know. My mom told me what it was about, but I can't. I don't know. Is it St. Nectarios? Maybe. But I saw this picture and I thought, oh my goodness. But I don't see a year. And there was this black one. A small red one.
actually. I wonder what years these are. I think a couple of them were written in. But, hmm. I don't. Oh, yeah, this one was in 1937. I picked up this green one. This is a thin one. So that was a fun find. You know, went to go volunteer and I didn't know that I'd come home with some awesome books. 1953, printed in Greece. So that is my Saturday haul that's coming to you on probably Sunday night or Monday morning. I uh, <clears throat> hope everybody had a nice weekend and I will see you in another video. Bye.